Arika Johnson, just now, shared with public. Alita, Battle Angel 167, Beneath the Crumbling Crown. Scene 1, The Ruins of Rebirth. The sun casts a crimson glow over the desolate Iron City, its rays piercing through the shattered remains of buildings. Alita and Hugo navigate the rubble, the tension palpable as they step over broken glass and fallen metal. The air is thick with dust, and every sound echoes ominously off the ruins. Hugo, looking around, wary, this place is a graveyard. Alita, gritting her teeth, not for long. We're going to wake it up. In the background, Doc Ito follows, carefully maneuvering a small drone through the wreckage, while Echo, the mechanical fox, quietly prowls, its robotic limbs producing soft clicks. Hoot flies overhead, scanning the area with its keen electronic gaze. Scene 2, A Whispered Threat. They enter the shell of a once-bustling marketplace. Arika and Nano move together, their eyes darting from shadow to shadow. Nano's fingers glow faintly as she uses her psychic abilities to sense nearby threats. Nano, murmuring, lips brushing Arika's ear, I feel something, like a heartbeat. It's under us. Arika grips her katana, her gaze sharpening. She whispers back, her lips brushing Nano's neck. Arika, grinning, guess we're about to find out what's crawling beneath. Scene 3, The Beast Below. Suddenly, the ground rumbles. The rubble shifts and a monstrous, metallic worm erupts from beneath them, its maw filled with rotating blades. Alita leaps, flipping midair, her Damascus blade in hand. Alita, yelling, hold on, everyone. It's gonna get messy. The worm lunges, tearing through a support beam. Hugo tackles Ito out of the way, while Arika and Nano duck beneath the collapsing ceiling, arms instinctively wrapping around each other. The metallic creature whips around, its roar deafening. Scene 4. Dance of Blades. Alita charges at the worm, her blade flashing as she strikes at its segmented body, severing one of its metal plates. Arika joins her, moving like lightning, her katana slicing through exposed wires and sensors. Hugo uses his grappling hook to swing around, shooting bolts into the creature's eyes. Hugo, grinning, adrenaline pumping, come on, you ugly bastard. Scene 5, Psychic Embrace. With the creature thrashing wildly, Nano's eyes go blank, her hands extending towards the beast. Her powers flare, invisible waves distorting the air around her. The worm freezes mid-attack, its bladed maw hovering just inches away from Alita. Nano, straining, voice trembling, get it now, Alita. Alita takes the opportunity, plunging her Damascus blade into the worm's core, severing its power source. The beast lets out a mechanical shriek, then collapses into a heap of smoking metal. Scene 6, Tenderness Amidst the Chaos the dust settles, and Arika moves toward Nano, pulling her close. Their lips meet in a slow, lingering kiss, as if they were the only two souls amidst the destruction. Arika, softly, her forehead resting against Nano's, you saved us. Again. Nano smiles, her face flushed. They hold each other, the world around them fading for a moment as they catch their breath. Scene 7, Regroup and Recover. Doc Ito walks over, dusting off his coat. He checks on Hugo, his gaze shifting to the dismantled worm. Doc Ito, nodding in approval, teamwork as always. Echo trots over, nudging Hugo's boot while Hoot lands on a nearby beam, its glowing eyes focused on the wreckage below. Hugo, patting Echo's head, yeah, but something tells me we're not done here. Scene 8, The King's Legacy. Suddenly, Hoot lets out a loud mechanical screech, signaling an alert. The team turns as they see a flickering holographic image projected from the worm's remains. A regal figure, once the ruler of Iron City, appears. His voice echoes with contempt. Hologram, you think you have defeated me? The crown of Iron City will never crumble while I exist. Alita's eyes narrow, her hand tightening around her blade. Alita, to herself, He's still alive, and he's underground. Scene 9. Descent into Madness. 
Without hesitation, Alita looks back at her team, her gaze filled with determination. Alita, we go after him. No more running, no more hiding. We end this. Arika and Nano exchange a look, nodding in unison. Hugo clenches his fists, while Doc Ito simply gives a knowing smile. Doc Ito, just like old times. Scene 10, the journey begins. They gather their gear, moving towards a gaping tunnel entrance that spirals deep into the earth. The darkness ahead promises danger, but also the hope of reclaiming Iron City. Alita takes the lead, her expression fierce. Alita, glancing at her friends together. For Iron City. The team descends, each step echoing with determination as they venture into the unknown, ready to face whatever lies beneath. End scene. Alita, Battle Angel 168, Into the Depths of Fury. Scene 1, The Descent. The winding tunnel stretches before them, dimly lit by the distant glow of emergency lights. The air is thick, suffocating. Alita takes the first step, her boots scraping against the damp ground. Hugo follows close, with Arika and Nana walking side by side, their fingers brushing against each other. Doc Ito moves steadily, the small drone humming as it floats beside him, scanning the tunnel's walls. Echo prowls cautiously, ears swiveling for sounds, while Hoot circles above, its keen gaze sweeping ahead. Hugo, nervously, I always hated the underground. Feels like the walls are gonna close in on us any second. Alita, calm, her voice echoing in the tight space, just keep moving. We've survived worse. Scene 2, The First Attack Suddenly, a guttural growl reverberates from the darkness. The tunnel shakes, dislodging loose debris. Out of the shadows, monstrous drones rush towards them, part flesh, part machine, bearing jagged claws and glowing red eyes. Arika, unsheathing her katana, looks like we've got company. Alita leaps forward, her Damascus blade flashing in the dim light as she slices through the first drone. Arika follows her lead, her movements fluid, each swing of her katana severing metallic limbs. Nano steps in, her telekinesis crackling as she sends two drones crashing against the walls, their circuits sparking. Nano, grinning, they should know better than to corner us. Scene 3, Hugo's Struggle Hugo finds himself overwhelmed by a particularly relentless drone, its claws reaching for his throat. Struggling, he wrestles the creature, his grappling hook barely keeping it at bay. Hugo, gritting his teeth, a little help here. Echo leaps onto the drone, tearing into its exposed wiring with its sharp, mechanical jaws, sparks flying in all directions. Hugo manages to push the lifeless heap off him, panting. Hugo, grateful patting Echo's head. Thanks, buddy. You saved my ass. Scene 4. The Deeper Threat The group continues, tension thick in the air. They come to an open chamber, ancient markings etched into the walls, remnants of a past long forgotten. Doc Ito's drone scans the area, and a holographic map projects before them. Doc Ito, examining the map, we're not alone down here. There's something, something massive waiting. Hoot screeches above, the sound sharp and unsettling. The chamber suddenly trembles, and a massive metal claw crashes through the wall, narrowly missing Nano. Nano, breathing hard, looking back at Arika, guess the welcoming party isn't over. Scene 5, Battle with the Behemoth. The claw belongs to a monstrous cybernetic guardian, easily twice their height. Its eyes gleam, and its chest glows with a pulsating core. Alita charges, her blade clashing against its armored exterior, sparks flying. Alita, gritting her teeth, we have to get to that core. Arika flanks the creature, aiming for the exposed joints while Nano uses her psychic powers to pull at the cables connecting its limbs. Hugo, using his grappling hook, scales the beast, aiming his crossbow at its head. Hugo, yelling, come on, you ugly bastard. Scene 6, Arika and Nano unite. Nano grips Arika's shoulder, her eyes glowing with power. Together, they focus their energy, Arika's blade enveloped in a radiant force. 
Arika leaps, slashing at the creature's chest, her strike enhanced by Nano's psionics. The blade cuts through, reaching the core. Arika, triumphant. Got it. The creature lets out a metallic roar, collapsing, its core shattering into pieces. Scene 7. A moment of vulnerability. Breathing heavily, Arika turns to Nano, her eyes softening. She steps closer, pulling Nano into a deep kiss, their bodies pressed against each other amidst the ruins of their battle. Arika, whispering against Nano's lips, I couldn't have done it without you. Nano, smiling, breathless, we're unstoppable together. Scene 8. The Path Ahead Doc Ito approaches, his gaze serious as he looks at the map once more. Doc Ito, we're getting closer to the heart of this place. Whatever's waiting for us, it's not going to let us through without a fight. Alita nods, her determination unwavering. Alita, then we keep going. We tear down whatever's left of the old guard. Hugo adjusts his grappling hook, Echo at his side, and they move forward, deeper into the tunnel. Hoot takes off, scouting ahead, its glowing eyes piercing the darkness. Scene 9. The Labyrinth The tunnel system grows more complex, a labyrinth of pathways and dead ends. The walls pulse with a strange, organic glow, almost as if the tunnels are alive. They hear whispers, a haunting sound that seems to come from the very walls around them. Hugo, looking uneasy, is it just me, or is this place getting creepier? Alita gripping her blade tighter. Stay sharp. This place wants us to lose focus. Suddenly, the ground beneath them gives way, and they find themselves sliding down a steep, metallic slope, tumbling into a deeper, darker chamber. Scene 10. The Reveal. They land in an underground cathedral, its ceiling towering above, lit by a network of dim, flickering lights. At the far end, a throne sits empty, save for the holographic projection of the figure from before. Hologram, voice booming, welcome to your final resting place. Iron City is mine, and none shall take it from me. Alita steps forward, her eyes filled with fury. Alita, yelling, we'll see about that. For Iron City. The hologram flickers, and a mechanical roar echoes through the cathedral as doors open on either side, revealing the next wave of defenders. The team readies themselves, determination in their eyes. End scene. Like. Comment. Share.